Okay, Blade aficionados, who we have for you today from this old Sword Blade Reviews, the Tucson TS-190 Cobra by Night Morning Design. Well, there's a knife with a name, and that's rare for Tucson. This knife came out about a year ago from the date of this recording. Reviews were done on it in uh, Sandvik um, <clears throat> 14C 28N. But guess what we've got now? If you wait a little while and you're patient, you get M390. Very nice. So this is a night morning design blade, as you can see. It is not a small blade. It has a interesting blade geometry in that you see a little hint of a recurve there. Barely any, but it's there. <clears throat> and I'm going to see if I can prove that to you. So there you go. Hopefully you can see the little gap under that blade. Barely there, but it ain't flat. And we have a fantastic belly on this blade and a bit of an upsweep like a Persian. Wouldn't quite call it a Persian. Um, <clears throat> Wouldn't know how to really classify this. It's got almost a straight back, got an upswept edge, and a slight recurve. So leave it tonight morning to give you something like that. Look at the texturing in the millwork on the handle and how it ends right here to give you the effect of a bolster. But it's a solid titanium handle. It just leaves off here and gives you this smooth, bolstery sort of a look. Got a uh, very nicely fashioned, um, fairly deep carry clip. Minimalist, which has its own milling. Open back construction except for a back spacer on the uh, pommel end. Used to call it a butt spacer. <laughs> I don't anymore. What can I tell you? We have milling weight relieving inside the handle, a little bit on both sides to reduce that weight. While we're talking weight, let's see if we can get a weight for you. Just finished changing a few things here, so. Scale had to be found. 4.670 ounces. Let's keep going. I'll throw the knife around a little. Let's keep going with some of the specs. Got what looks to be a pretty thick stock to the blade. Yes, four millimeter blade stock. <clears throat> believe that works out to 0.15 inches. Back out just a little here. And let's get a length overall. Length overall right there, eight and a half inches. Blade length. Well it's shy of three and three quarters. We'll call it three and five eighths and a cutting edge. And right about at uh, three and three quarters. So one of those interesting knives where we've got the edge back a bit from the uh, protrusion of the handle so we get a little bit more edge. And what an edge that is. <clears throat> I think I got some paper left over from my 248 review. Well, I've got to get you started. It is um, 
pretty sharp edge. High grind. I believe it is a flat grind. We're going to call it a flat grind. Um, I don't refer to very many of the Tucson specs on these because sometimes they tend to be off. There's a very prominent lanyard hole way up near the top of the handle. Very simple screw arrangement. One screw there which seems to go through and um, well actually the pocket clip's got a top screw. So you got one screw holding the handle together near the pommel plus the um, T8 here on the pivot. The action's phenomenal. Drop shut. KVT bearings will do that. Pretty much there. Could be loosened a little bit. I think I played with it back and forth, but <clears throat> it's darn smooth. The nice thing is, if it isn't, <laughs> if it doesn't drop on your fingers, that's a good thing. But easily adjusted. Uh, most two suns can be quite easily adjusted. Blade is centered up nicely. Um, well buried in the handle. Don't have to worry about picking up that point with your thumb. And um, blade to handle ratio is pretty darn good. Couldn't get much better than that. Easy open action. Can it be failed? Yep. So, somewhat of a light detent. Yep. Um, you could certainly tighten up the pivot a little bit. Would help with that. You could also adjust the uh, the bar if you know how to do that kind of thing. It's not too difficult to uh, take it apart and give it a little bit of a bend, make a stronger contact with the blade in the detent area. But just a really handsome, simple design, straightforward kind of a design. Beautiful ergos fingers fit in this curve very nicely. Straight back. And uh, did we get a handle? Yeah, I'm forgetting already. Yeah, 0.51. So only about a half an inch. I had not gotten the handle or I would have recalled the figure. Pretty good at remembering numbers. Not so good at remembering some other things. Got the edge broken here with a bit of a chamfer. Um, plenty of meat out at that point, as you can see. Clip is not ambidextrous. Most titanium clips are not. Sorry lefties, you've got to figure it out or not buy it. nice action though. Just because you can fail it doesn't mean that the detent is loose or weak. I can't shake it out so uh, probably with more room I could give it a uh, snap out this way with a little bit of a jerk of the hand but you know it's um, it's a good detent. Look at that area there where the uh, texturing stops. Depending upon how the light hits it, it almost looks like a bolster. Let's size it up against a few others. It's wrap one time. Wow. Right in there pretty much with the rat one. Rat one's closer but in looking directly overhead they're just about the same. As I said, lots of blade for the handle on that one. And lots of handle. The uh, Cryptilian's going to be a little smaller, for sure. And yes, it's Spider Co. Amalgam time. 
it is a longer knife overall for sure and the blade is a little bit longer I mean it is almost a four inch blade on that and uh, we're a little shy of that on the 190 so the Tucson TS 190 Cobra does it remind you of a Cobra I'm not sure maybe that's supposed to look like a Cobra's hood I'm really not sure where the names come from but that's what they're calling it and that is what I will call it as well I do hope you enjoyed this one of many Tucson reviews we've got perhaps one or two more coming so stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already if you subscribe you'll get notified when the new videos come out and they are daily on a wide variety of manufacturers and models as soon as I get them I like to get them out there and get them to you folks all right this old sword signing out